Amen. Amen. I start this series. It's called Winning in Life. Winning in Life. Everybody in my life, as we are right now, have gone through so many battles. Life itself is a battle. Conception is a battle. Bringing forth the child is a battle. Raising the child is a battle. When you start going up in life, in your school of life, I'm not talking of education in the former school. There is always a school of life that all of us go through. Situation and circumstances are the syllabus in the school of life. They are the curriculum in the what? School of life. Very tough, very rigid, very rigorous. It's called the school of hard knock. Situations and circumstances. But everybody in life has in them a code to win. God, when he divided and designed man, designed us as QBD. 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 Quality by design. God imputed quality in you when he designed you. Quality by what? By design. Tell your neighbor, I am quality by design. No, no, say it like you mean it. I am quality by design. I'm not just ordinary person. I'm not just one of the Joneses that come to the face of the heart. I am quality by design. God intentionally designed me by quality. What did he do when he designed me? He put something in me that will make me on top always to be a winner every day. To be a what? A winner every day. I don't know any of you that each day you wake up, you don't have one thing or the other that challenge your life. Every day, that's one thing that comes to challenge. Some people at common nights, it's just a regular thing that comes at night for me. I can just sleep, it's no insomnia. Probably I don't sleep until 1 a.m. That's not usual because the Bible says he gave them his beloved sound sleep. Peaceful rest is what he's talking about. Because God knows that uh, by the activity of each day, your body will be worn out. So he designed sleep so that you can rejuvenate. But you say, I don't get to sleep by 1 a.m. I think it's, it's insomnia. Every night, uh, you, you, you think it's a regular part of your life. No, that is one of the battles of life. That you have to learn to win over it. God put in you quality, everything that makes you a winner over situation and circumstances on a daily basis. In your home front, in the work front, in your family, in your finances, in everything that surrounds you, in your health, there is something that is deposited, quality by design. But you can only tap into that quality for winning by faith. Amen. You can only tap into it by what? By faith. You can only activate every quality that God gave to you to be a winner on a daily basis by the key called faith. Oftentimes things move us from the faith zone to the fear zone. We are human beings. We have emotions. We psychological. We analytical. We analyze situation, and you don't see where how there. Uh, sister, Sister Lassandra was was uh, just giving a testimony. She said, "Oh, how am I going to pay my my landlord? How am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that?" That is moving you analysis that is leading to paralysis. You begin to analyze, am I going to, am I going to, am I going to? When you begin to do that, what do you think is coming in? Fear factor. Fear factor begins to set in. Am I going to survive this? 
situation. How am I going to overcome this? And fear factor, instead of you moving from the faith zone to the fear zone, why don't you begin to praise God in that situation? Now, I know I cannot do anything in this situation, but I know you can do something. Oh, I'm talking about the faith that wins on every situation. I'm talking, I, I, I'm not saying that you don't have faith. There are so many things I'm going to teach you during this series about faith. But uh, winning, winning in life requires something that is called faith. And I'm going to go with you from the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, verse number 4. I know we all know the epistle of faith. Everybody knows that Hebrews chapter 11 talks about faith. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 6 talks about faith. Hebrew, Hebrew. But I want to take you back to the Old Testament and talk about faith. Habakkuk chapter number 2 verse 4. Habakkuk. Chapter 2, verse number 4. Okay. Yes. Are we all there? Wait a minute. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse number 4. Can somebody read to us if you have the Miss uh, Paul and you guys are? Behold. But his soul, which is lifted up, is not afraid in him. Mm -hmm. But the just shall live by his faith. <laughs> can we chorus that at church? Can we chorus that if you're there? Can you read that? Behold. Chapter 2, verse number 4. Okay. Abacock. I want us to read it together as a church. What to let's go? Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall be by his Let's read the last part of that scripture. But the just shall live by his Can you look at your neighbor and tell them that's word? But the just shall be by <laughs> but the just shall live by whose faith? His faith. Mm. But, uh, hallelujah. But the just shall live by what? His faith. I got to live by my own faith. <laughs> I got so many things I'm going to teach you. Open your revelation eyes to during this series of, of winning in life. Winning in life. How many people love boxing? How many people watch boxing in the past? There was one man whose name was Muhammad Ali. And there was another man whose name was Evander Holyfield. And there was another man whose name was Michael Tyson. Each of them have a strategic strategy that they fight their battle with. One in the 80s late ages. If Muhammad Ali pin you to the corner, you can't get out of that corner until you're on the floor. It's over. Once you are met in that corner, he has a strategy that he bring all in him. And once he gives you the upper corner, boom. You are down. He knocked you down. And by the time the referee, one, two, at the count of ten, Muhammad Ali's hand, two hands are off. The glove is off also. Battle won. Ever the Holy Field, one time, was fighting. And he will fight and fight his opponent and go all around. He likes to fight all around. Brr, rush you. Once you're on the floor, he also won. But the man came on the scene by the name Michael Tyson. <laughs> Knockout. If, but if you last one minute on the ring, you must be very strong. Yep. One minute on the ring, boom, 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 you are down. Three rounds, they have different strategy. 
One time he encountered a man called Ephanda Holyfield who trusts God. Who trusts God. And Michael Tyson beat Ephanda Holyfield. Beat him on the floor. Knocked him down. It sounds like the life of a Christian. Being beaten by what? The battles of life. You were beaten, you are on the floor. You are on the floor, you are on the floor, you are on the floor, you are on the floor. It seems there is no hope anymore. I can't pay my rent. I can't get to work. I don't have a job. I don't know how to survive. I am sick in my body. I don't know what to do. But you are on the floor. But the Bible said you are not finished. Even though you are on the floor. Because the Bible said the righteous fall seven times. And then the what? They get back up. It doesn't matter how many times I fall for the situation of life. There is still quality to win on the daily basis inside of me. Thank you, Lord. Hey! It is covered in me when God formed me. So that's why you don't hey. mock them, your brother or your sister when they're going through. You don't laugh at them when they're going through Amen. because there's something inside of them that can get it back up. All they need is to operate the key of faith. <laughs> don't mock me when I'm now. <laughs> don't laugh at me. When it seems it's not going well with me. <laughs> because I know the just shall live by his own faith. For mm -hmm. one time, Evander Holyfield decided to do something. I can win by power. I can win by might. But I can win by the spirit of the living God. Amen. And he said, I want to challenge you back, Michael Tyson. I want you back on the ring. I fought you physically the first time, but I want to fight you spiritually this time around. <laughs> because the righteous fall seven times, and they rise up the seventh time. I'm going to rise again. I'm going to glorify the name of my God. And when he was going there, he came with the host of men of God. And he began to sing, I have made you so small in my heart. Oh Lord, forgive me. I have believed in a lie that you are unable to help me. But now, oh Lord, I can see my wrong in my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my soul, O oh Lord, be my Messiah, O oh Lord, be my Messiah, be my Messiah, O oh Lord, you are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. He shifted his focus from Michael Tyson and put his focus on the Almighty God. Huh. Often time you cannot operate by faith when you focus on your situation and circumstances. The moment you oh, focus this on your situation and circumstances, all you are doing is to analyze your situation and circumstances from the natural realm. That's why you need to paralysis. Oh, this situation and it's becoming bigger. Oh, this situation is becoming what? Bigger. This situation, bigger. He shifted his focus from the man like a Tyson and put his eyes 
on the most high God, the author and the finisher of his 